Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's episode of Popper Ponderings. My name is Austin. This is on The Mana Base here on YouTube. Make sure to check us out online, www.themanabase.com. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, because if you like Popper, most likely your friends like Popper, which means you should probably show them the sweet decks that I play, because you know I play sweet decks. And that's what this channel is all about, playing everything from Cube to Frontier to Standard. All my buddies, we're all here, we're all making magic content for you. I'm the Popper guy, and I love to play sweet Popper decks. And this week, the recipient of our $10 deck submission giveaway is Jank Deck Wins, and we are playing Orzov Tokens. So, I know that a lot of you uh, continue to submit the same decks, and I'm 100% okay with that. Just as long as you don't submit a deck that has already been submitted, please continue to submit deck lists to me. I love it. I love it so much. Please, the support is what makes me continue to do this for you guys. I love it so much. I love every single time one of you submits a deck list. I look at them all, I swear to God. And this is a perfect example. Jank Deck Wins has literally been submitting this deck since I started. And I picked it today because it was sweet. And it was always so close. I there was some, And he made some changes to it. And, and now I think it is really, really cool. And, and I am excited. Another thing that we're adding in this week is that for every win that I get in Pop Ponderings, I am going to open one pack. So there is an opportunity for me to open three packs in the conclusion. So I know that some of you guys only like watching the conclusion, so I figured to add to that, we would add a little pack ransom. So for every win that I get with Orzov tokens and from Jank Deck win the deck that Jank Deck wins sent me, I get to open one Aether Revolt pack in the conclusion. So that's maybe an incentive for you guys to stick around and uh, and listen to me make fun of some of the ugly cards on my deck, some of the ugly cards on my opponent's deck, and hopefully we can open some uh, some inventions. I'm really bad at opening inventions. Whenever um, <laughs> whenever we have to open packs for the store, <laughs> I don't think I maybe opened we opened like something like 120 boxes or something every set, and and I maybe opened like one. One masterpiece, or I opened a Cascade Bluffs in Oath of the Gatewatch. So my, <laughs> my luck is not very good when it comes to pack openings, but hopefully, Pop Ponderings can change that. And uh, yeah, hopefully, so you guys stick around. Hopefully, we get to open the full three. And hopefully, we're not getting a goose egg, because that would be really bad for our first episode. But I have faith in this deck list. So, what are we playing? We're playing Orzov Tokens. Uh, this is a very similar to just like the mono white tokens list. The only real exception being we're using the cards Foul Tongue Shriek, which is one on a black for an instant, and its target opponent loses one life for each attack and creature you control, and you gain that much life. And we're also using Harsh Sustenance, which is one black on a white, deals X damage to target creature or player, and you gain X life, or X is the number of creatures you control. So the key point of the deck is we're going to spit out a lot of tokens, you know, with cards like Gather the Townsfolk, Raise the Alarm, Squadron Hawk, Battle Screech, Triplicate Spirits, and to a lesser extent, Doom Traveler. We're going to beat them down to hopefully, you know, 7-8 life, and then hopefully we can finish them off with something like a Foul Tongue Shriek or a Harsh Sustenance and a Foul Tongue Shriek. We have some card draw in Knight's Whisper. We have some removal in Unmake and Journey to Nowhere. I think this is going to be a really, really strong deck, and I think it has a lot of the key elements that I want to be able to uh, to go forward and, and take some games. Hopefully we don't play against a lot of Soul Wardens, because that card I can see give us a bit of a fit. Go to our sideboard here. We have two Doomblades, because, you know, creatures die to Doomblade. We have two Mana Tithes. I don't know why they're mixed up. Two Mana Tithes, because this card's sweet, and I love getting them. We have three Patricia's Scorn, which is if you cast another white spell this turn, you can cast it without paying its mana cost, and you destroy all enchantments. So this is going to be really good against any sort of Boggles deck that we play against, because I hate Boggles, and this should be a good way of, of dealing with that. We have two Shrivels for opposing uh, kind of Goblins or other uh, token decks. Mm -hmm. We have two Lumengrid Fields, which are going to be good against opposing Electricaries, because we know how much I love Electricary. We have one Holy Light, uh, I was good against goblins, any sort of, uh, you know, bl small black rush deck. We have two dust to dusts for affinity. Exiling two artifacts is pretty powerful. And then we have one cop red for any uh, burn deck that we go up against. So I'm excited. This deck tech has definitely run a little long. But again, make sure you guys uh, like, share, and subscribe to this video. 
And uh, every single win I get with Jank Deck Wins' Orzhov Tokens deck, I'm opening one pack in the conclusion. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that conclusion, because who doesn't love opening packs? I love opening packs. I, we literally open hundreds upon thousands of packs every single set. Every single Friday I draft at f and I still love opening packs, and I want to open all three of these bad boys. All three of them. All right. I will see you guys for round number one. This is Austin. This is Papa Ponderings. You're on the mana base, and I will see you for round number one with Orzov Tokens.